What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and today we're making ceviche. Uh, so now I'm back in the Bay Area. I had a great time foraging in LA. It was pretty awesome. So many differences even within the same state. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. I got two videos on it down in LA. So check it out if you haven't seen them. Uh, we're at 35,000 subscribers now. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for the support. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I can't I can't thank you enough. You know, thank you so much. So yesterday, I went out foraging on the coast and it was a spot that I had never been to before. And I wanted to see if there was anything new around, if I could find any anything different, even though it's you know approximately within uh, just a couple miles of where I've been before. And yeah, it was actually pretty interesting. Um, I had bought a brand new wireless lav mic for $160 on Amazon and I was using that was working fine in the beginning and after I reviewed the footage all the audio was cut off after that first minute so there's no audio on this video so I'll be, be doing that voiceover and I'm very sorry about that um, I'll be returning this lav mic that I got and getting another one if you guys have any recommendations on one let me know in the comments and I was really contemplating whether or not to make a video um, ab about yesterday since all the audio was gone but I figured it was uh, kind of interesting uh, what I found bear with me on this one thank you guys check it out here it is I just came to look around this area today I've never s checked this low tide area out and I know this area is kind of only accessible during a low tide and I just wanted to see what was out here so far I'm seeing a lot of clam shells actually which is interesting I think that might be from a Washington clam. This looks like a probably a horse neck actually. I think there's a rock crab right here. Oh, he moved fast. Oh, it's this little one. Little tiny guy. So the tide's at a negative 1.5 today. It's really windy. Raining a little bit. Uh, but it's a good low tide, so we're going to check it out. So all of these big old empty clamshells were everywhere. These were all small rock crabs, all undersized. And here's one that I spotted. Can you see it? And I thought this was gonna be a pretty good size, so I decided to try to catch it. And I got it, but turns out it's also pretty small. So I'll just put it back. And then Jocelyn calls me over, so I go over to her, she found a baseball, and she also found one cockle and one steamer clam. Nice. We'll keep that, put that in the bucket. And I spotted this thing and I was like, yo, what is this? So I picked it off, and turns out it's a sea lemon. Cool. And then she calls me over again, so I run to her, and see, and she's found an octopus. Check this out. Look at this guy just slithering around across the rocks. And this was the first time I've seen a, an octopus in Northern California. And this is a red octopus or also known as an East Pacific Red Octopus. And this is about a maximum size here. And next to it, there was a eel, so I tried to catch it, but too slithery. Back to the octopus. So yeah, these guys are, you can find them in the low tide, even up in, in the Bay Area. This species is a bit smaller than the one I found 
in Southern California, which was a California two-spot octopus. And I was letting this guy slither around my hand. And they these can bite. They have a beak. And actually, right here, boom, it bit me. But didn't hurt that bad. Didn't puncture my skin or anything. But now, uh, it's time to go back. The tide's coming up. Wind's kicking up. Rain's coming down. And we're going to cook this up tomorrow. All right, we're back. So let's start cooking. So I'm heating up some water right now. I'm just going to add a couple pinches of salt. Let that come to a boil. A few clams that we gathered yesterday. Got a red onion here. We got the water nice and boiling. Here's the octopus from yesterday. It's pretty nice. Oh man. I did the same technique as last time. Just massaging and using the salt. So uh, if you didn't see that one, go check it out. I'm only gonna boil this guy probably for about five minutes or so. Got serranos here. I also have habaneros. And I'm gonna keep this recipe pretty simple. A couple limes. Yeah, that was about four or five minutes. I think it's good. I'm gonna throw these uh, clams in there too now. So what you can do here, so they have the skin on them, right? You can kind of just scrape that off. The skin portion kind of gives it that extra kind of chewy, chewiness that you don't really want. It's like a, so when you boil it, I think for octopus, it's better to take the skin portion off. But when you grill it, I think it's fine to eat. It becomes more enjoyable. This cockle. I think this one's been dead. It won't open at all, so just guys, I'm gonna I'm not gonna eat that one. Alright, so here's the the two clams and the rest of the octopus. Pretty much the whole octopus here. And now I'm just gonna chop it up small. Chopped up. Maybe just half. Also, be too spicy. And the habaneros in. Add the onions now too. it a little bit. Oh, that's so good. Some taste to it, actually. Yeah. You get a lot more of the clam taste in the octopus. I'm just gonna actually add just a couple spoons of that. And I know some of you guys are saying, this is not ceviche, because I cooked it with heat, not acid. And yeah, you're right. This is actually considered Agua chile. Still, it's gonna be good. For octopus, you have to cook it with heat. If you cook the octopus with acid, it'll be way too chewy, way too tough. Let's do this.
Yeah. And the rest is for my girlfriend. She's at work, so she can't. She couldn't make it to the video. Oh yeah. All right, here it is. There it is, octopus ceviche. Oh, here we go. Mm. Damn, that's good. Damn, that's so good. Octopus episode, back to back. Ooh, one SoCal, one NorCal. Man, I love octopus. So good. I would say it's the octopus itself. A little bit chewy. A little bit chewy. Could have used maybe a couple more minutes boiling. I think it would have been a little more tender if I did that. But no, this the flavor is on point. Spicy, burning my lips. Got habanero and serrano on here. It's good though. I love spicy. Yeah, octopus are a lot more common uh, in SoCal. You'll find them in Thai pools a lot more than you would in the Bay Area. Um, but I found one yesterday. Well, actually, Jocelyn found this one. Um, she act she found the clams too. I didn't find anything yesterday. I was just finding a ton of uh, small rock crabs that were undersized, pretty much all of them. And that's about it. I want to take this last bite. Oh my god, I just realized I forgot my beer. <laughs> I forgot to drink my beer. <laughs> Cheers. I <laughs> kept just hitting me in the face. <laughs> okay. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time. Peace. Quit a damn captain.